Maine is uh, red hot right now, though, with reality shows and movies based here. It's finally time for a scripted comedy to be based here, too. Well, we thought there was no backdrop funnier than the Bangor City Council, and we've got the plot line and the cast all figured out in a segment we call the Bangor Bunch. Guys? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's start with Councillor Laura uh, Supica. Supica. Supica, uh, a newly elected member of the Bangor City Council nice. and popular server at local tavern Nocturnum, a place so friendly it's almost like Cheers, so it only makes sense that Supica would be portrayed by TV's Carla, Rhea Perlman. Oh, so that's who my she, goodness. She'll be portrayed by Rhea Perlman in the Bangor Bunch television show. <laughs> Councillor David Neely. David Neely is a councillor with the Bangor City Council, holding the record for the longest written bio on the city of Bangor's web website. He's also a small business owner as the publisher of Maine Seniors Magazine. Known for his signature glasses on the edge of his nose look, there is no better person to portray Councillor Neely than TV's Judge Judy. Uh -huh. That's who he's going to be portraying Councillor Neely. Uh, Dan Can't Tremble, Dan Tremble, another Bangor councillor, okay. a longtime member of the Bangor City Council and local happy. business person. TV producers would immediately go to a similar person who could bridge politics and business, uh, <laughs> and it's clear that Councillor Tremble would be played by none other than President Donald Trump. Hey! Um, uh, this is awkward. This is uh -oh. actually rather awkward. Uh, yes, he's a city councillor and a small business person, but he's also one of my bosses in my day job. Oh, okay. That's why I think the clear choice for this show's portrayal of councillor Kerry Weston would be 1997 sexiest man alive, George Clooney. Hey, it's gotta be. there you There's go. There's no other option. They're, they're there like, is, it's like a mirror He's there. been wanting to get back to TV since they canceled the ER, so yeah. I think it just makes sense. Okay. Councillor uh, Sarah Nichols has many attributes and qualities, so it seems silly to narrow down her portrayer to a single feature. But okay. we are nothing else if not silly, and sticking with the approach used with Councillor Neely and focusing on eyewear, the only choice to portray Councillor Nichols in the Bangor Bunch would be Tina Fey. That's Aww, the only choice. Yeah. I can see that. Or if we're sticking with eyewear, Larry King. I mean, oh. either one. Okay. Either one. Would <laughs> Councillor uh, Claire Davitt has graduated from many programs and held many positions. She's currently working at the Bangor Public Library, so why not have her portrayer on the Bangor Bunch be one of the most famous librarians of all time, and that's why she will be portrayed by 101-year-old Beverly Cleary. Oh! They're cheering only because they wanted to see Beverly. Beverly Cleary is uh, a national treasure. Yes. Moment of seriousness and truth for all y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Councillor Joe Perry, when you have a spitting image of yourself hey. in acting circles, it's hard not to offer that person the role, which is why Councillor Perry will be played by Milhouse's dad from The Simpsons. Oh. <laughs> Gibran Graham, oh boy. proprietor Look of the Briar now. Patch Bookstore, an active member of the Bangor community for years, including serving in his second term on city council, I can't say with assurance he's been mistaken for this actor before, but I wouldn't be surprised, which is why Councillor Graham will be played by the late Burl Ives. Oh, 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 oh. oh you've caught Bert at his finest right there. Well, it's Burl, not Bert, Burl, but either one, Burl I'm sure the, he's deceased, Burl so he won't be upset. That brings us to City Council Chair Ben Sprague. Local kid, went to Harvard. Oh, look at that, it's like a senior picture. It's like a senior picture. <laughs> He worked for the Red Sox before returning home to have a successful career in financial planning and banking, clearly very smart and driven, and we don't mean to typecast actors from years past, but we think the ideal candidate to play Councillor Sprague would also be the very smart and very driven Jaleel White, TV's Urkel. Oh, did I do that? And lastly, City Manager Kathy Conlow. She's left to clean up after the council when all the work is ready to be done, so naturally, she will be played on the Bangor Bunch by another famous actress who had to clean up after another famous bunch, the great Ann B. Davis. And there you have it, everybody. Yeah. That is the Bangor Bunch. We will be right back right after this.